Hello there everyone and if you may remember a couple of months ago I posted a video regarding a little tech dilemma that I had. I'd like to report that that has actually now been solved because I've now got SLI in my system. In fact, do you see? Yeah? Two graphics cards now, yes! And I will actually say they've actually been working out really well for me and uh, for those actually interested, this is the actual graphics card that I have. It's a GeForce GTX 970 running, I've got two running in SLI obviously, and this is the EVGA for the win plus edition. If you want, if you want to know how much it was, I'm not telling, sorry about that. But it's a really good graphics card actually, and really good for the money. Good performance for frames per second figure, whatever. But yeah, I've now had the two running in SLI for a while, and so far the results have actually been really impressive. I'm surprised the system hasn't blown up on me yet. But there was one thing I actually did need to upgrade as well, and that was the sound. Now, if you may remember, many months ago, I picked up one of these. It's an Amptastic Mini 1, and this little amp has been astonishing. The overall quality of the sound, especially from the Q acoustic speakers that I have here, have been phenomenal so far. I'm absolutely falling in love with this little system I've got going on here. But it's currently connected to the motherboard onboard audio uh, connector, one of them at least. And I'm not going to lie, it's actually a little bit muddy in places, especially when there's a lot of bass going on. The bass seems to drown out a lot of the other sounds, and I can't really hear some of the other little details as well. Now, one way to actually improve that would actually be to get um, a, a different sound card, whether that's one of those gaming ones or a high-end sound card. That would solve it, but the only problem there would be it's still in the system. There's still other things going on. It's still generating mechanical noise and that. And to be honest, I didn't really want to have that. So the other solution, which I think would actually complement this setup really nicely, would be a DAC. And I've, unlike the amp, I've actually done some research into this particular one, but mu rather much like the Aptastic, it comes in a very unassuming um, package, but much of, obviously much bigger than the, uh, than the other one. But it's from a company called Home Hi-Fi, and they're based in London, so it's a British company, thank you very much. And the actual DAC in here is called the Beresford Cayman Mark II. Now, as I said, unlike the DAC, I have actually done my research into this. And so far, I've heard nothing but good things about it. So that's what made me pick this one up. So I think without further ado, let's take a look at this one, shall we? Okay then. So rather unlike the Amptastic, much, much bigger packaging than I'm expecting. So if you want to know where the address is for Home Hi-Fi, that's where they are. Uh, probably didn't want you to know that, but there you go. Anyway, let's get this thing open and let's see what's what. If I can open the bloody thing that is. I've used a lot of tape. Now I will actually say, when I ordered this, I ordered this on the Sunday and I got the email confirmation through saying that they have dispatched, oh, would have had that the right way, but they have dispatched the uh, this stack literally not that long ago. As it turns out, they delivered this at about half past eight this morning, and I didn't know that because I was still in bed, unfortunately. So, luckily, um, the depot that held it was one of the Royal Mail depots. Um, they kept hold of it, so everything is all good. So let's take this out and let's see what is what inside this on the large package. I actually got it in here. It's beyond me. Go on out. Rip, just rip the plastic over. There you go. There you go. Look at that. There's gonna be lots of background noise, unfortunately. But there you go. Ah. Right there we go. So very clear on the box, Beresford, very British company if you, if you may, if I say so. Uh, but yeah, like the Amptastic, really understated box because all it had on there, it said Amptastic, the little audio company. This just says Beresford and it's much, much bigger than I originally thought. So let's take a look at, whoa, hello there. 
Very well packaged, really well secure in there, I'd say. So what have we got? Let's see. Uh, we've got the power, little power brick in there with a power power cable. Hopefully I've got enough space in my little um, uh, four-way adapter in there. Or, well, I don't know if it's four-way or five-way, I can't bloody well remember. Hopefully I've got enough space regardless. Uh, let's take the actual DAC out now. Now it comes with instructions, but I was actually told in an email from uh, Stanley, who works at Beresford, or Home Hi-Fi, which is where this is from, don't use these instructions because these are a bit outdated, so I have to use the ones that I've got a download link for. So I might end up looking at them for the purposes of this. So let's take this out now. That's one side. Quite a heavy little thing, actually, I will mention. Quite a heavy little DAC, I think. Let's take this out and have a look at it. Mm. And you can see why I've chosen this particular colour. So it complements the Amptastic nicely, but you can get this in black as well if you so desire. Uh, so we've got at the front, hold that up, we've got the power switch, very mechanical. Uh, the state was what? I can't remember what that one was. So we've got, I think that's the source button, so you can flip between the sources. So we've got optical, uh, coaxial, and USB. I'll be using USB. Uh, we've got a function, I think that disables the LEDs. You've got a headphone jack, which is three, no, not three and a half mil. Well, I don't know what I'm about. That's 6.3 mil or quarter inch. And you've got the line out switch. So it's either set to variable or fixed. And then you've got the volume dial, which again feels similar to the Amptastic. I'll mention, very nice. Obviously a larger size, but let's have a look at the back now. And we've got. Uh, we've got power, we've got a ground uh, segment there. There's the optical, which I'll keep covered up for the time being. There's the coaxial for like a CD player. There's the USB, which is an asynchronous USB port, and I've got the correct leads for that. Uh, I think that's so you can connect to a battery. I can't remember exactly, or it's something. And there's the line out, which goes into the goes from there to the amp. So yeah, nice metal housing as well. Quite heavy, I will say that, but a nice silver finish, and I think that will complement the amp very nicely. And luckily, I have got the right cables as well. So I've got two cables from the company QED. I've got the phono or the stereo phono cable, which is this one here, and that's um, 6, 0.6 of a meter, so that'll be long enough. And I've got a one and a half meter USB cable as well. Part of the same series as it turns out. So all I need to do is get everything into position, get the um, power cable all in, and I suppose set this up. So if you please excuse me, I'm going to set me up a DAC. I'll be back soon. Okay, that's all the cables routed. So I've got the phono cable, the USB cable, and the power cord going through to my desk. Now I've got to get the DAC all connected up in that. Right, let's see, let's figure out where everything actually goes on this thing. Power goes in there, obviously. Good, all off. That's what I need to see, no status LEDs or anything like that. Uh, let's plug in the audio. Phono leads. I have a bit of a stiff connection, but they're in for definite. And finally, the USB, which goes yeah, that's right. Into there. Okay, so that's all the leads connected up. Oh, turn the monitor off. Why not? <laughs> right, there we go. Ah, oh, there we go. That's all good. That's all there. Put everything down. Just make sure it's all out of the way. Right now, the power cable is uh, dangling down underneath my desk. So I will tidy that up eventually. Just want to make sure everything all works and that before doing so. Uh, yeah. I believe that is all in. So straight away, what a compliment. What a little compliment that is to the overall audio setup. Mouse is still good, yep. That's still fine. Right, all that's left to do now is obviously uh, switch on the DAC. So it's now searching for the devices. Right, now thinks it's going on to the uh, onto the optical. So what I need to do is press source, source and source. 
Right, that is now on USB. So what I need to do, and I want to make sure that everything's all connected up as it should. Hopefully it is. I'm really hoping it is because right now it's a bit of a, a bit of a doozy. This. So what I need to do? I need to go onto sound settings. Uh, right now, I need to. Please bear with me for a moment, I'm just trying to get everything all going. Uh, let's see. Has it recognized the USB inputs at all? Playback, uh, recording, sounds, no. It recognizes the recording part, but not the. Uh... Right, it's currently going through. Uh, how do I get everything working here? Um, all right, you have to bear with me for a moment. I'm just going to figure out what's going on and I'll see if I can get everything working. So I'll be back, hopefully, as soon as possible. Right, my fault. Turns out I kind of had the uh, connection slightly off. I didn't quite push the USB cable into the back properly. But we're all connected up now. Everything seems to be working. I've just done a quick test just to make sure on that. And what I'm going to do now is a very, very long audio listening test just so this can burn in with that so with that I'll be back within the next few hours see you then okay you now join me at I don't know what time it is now nearly 20 to midnight and I've been listening to the Beresford Cayman Mark II for quite a while now and it's complementing the Amptasium Mini 1 very nicely. And there has definitely been a huge jump in the audio quality so far, which is phenomenal, especially with a DAC of this sort of calibre. Um, I can hear much more detailing, even when there's quite a bit of bass and the bass isn't too punchy. And overall, it's definitely cleaned the sound up. In fact, this, uh, this DAC here, when the camera decides to focus on this, there you go is an absolute gem. The, uh, the overall fit and finish of this is of really top quality. I absolutely love it. As I said, compliments that very nicely. So yeah, overall, I'm actually really happy with that purchase. So yeah, goodbye that one. So anyway, I think I better wrap the, this up now because it is actually getting quite late. It's been several hours since I actually initially set this thing up anyway. So with that, thank you very much for watching everybody. Um, if you want to see more videos from me, hit that subscribe button. If you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you think it was crap. I don't know. But yeah, that does it. So this has been the Beresford Cayman Mark II. Come on, camera, focus, please. Thank you very much. So yeah, this has been the Beresford Cayman Mark II. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. See ya.